What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we're back for the final race really of the 2021 season of cycling. It is of course Il Lombardia. So of course we have the real start list in game. We have De Koenig with Alaphilippe, Remco and Joao Almeida. What a team for them. Roglic and Vingegaard for Jumbo Visma. Pogaccia, will he return to his Tour de France form? That is the question. Adam Yates is in form right now. Can he challenge Primoz Roglic with Gianni Mosk on there as well? Lanza here, maybe Mohoric for Bahrain, Benus and Bardet. Further down, we have, I know, Mike Woods, and I do believe this is Dan Martin's final race before he retires. Maybe Nielsen Paulus could do well for EF. We have Godou and Pino, a former winner for FDJ. Vlasov is here without last year's winner, Jakob Fusang. Uh, we have Molima and Nibali here as well, two other former winners at the race. And in real life, I can only see one of two riders winning, to be honest. I see Roglic or Pogaccia running away with it. We'll see if I'll eat my words. Maybe Joao Almeida could be challenging, but for Remco to win, it's going to be a special, special race from him. I'm sure of it. Anyway, uh, I am going to go with either UAE or Jumbo Visma. And Tade did win Liège earlier this season. Roglic is the man in form, and we're going to try and take Primoz Roglic to the second monument of his career today. I know, of course, it's a great team, probably the race favourite, but let's try and win uh, the final race of this season with Primoz. My words, look at the race days we have available to us. If I don't win this race with Roglic, it'll be a huge, huge failure. Plus two day, plus days on everyone in the team by, uh, by Jonas Vingegaard, sorry. Of course, it's George Bennett's final race as well for Jumbo Visma today before he does move to help out Pocky at UAE. So we are now approaching the Madonna del Gazzalo. Usually a decisive climb in the race, but today is uh, taking place very early on. And of course, we have big Vix Campanats up the roads. So we are now on the foot of the Roncola climb. You can see I have come to the front. Omen, Bauman and Harper are here. Two and a half minutes to the guys in the breakaway. We have such a strong team today. We really need to try and take advantage of that by making this a super difficult race early on. And that is what I'm doing. Poor Jakob Moretsche, by the way. What is he doing at this race? Brutal stuff by Vini Zabu. Here's drops already. So we've crested the climb, still a very big peloton. And believe it or not, we haven't had a Remco Evner pool attack just yet. So we're now on the Babeno climb. We're upping the rhythm a little bit. I really want to make this difficult. And the Zambla Ulta is really going to be where this race explodes. Here we go then on to the foot of the climb. Now we have Poggy's team, UAE, Palank, Hershey, Ulissi, Formolo all working on the front as well. Poggy must be on a good day. And this is about to get real right now. And now all the schmucks at the back. Dyer Quintana out the back. Fetter out the back. Ben Tullet out the back. Chris Froome is out the back. Ida Schelling as well. This is suddenly exploding. Okay, so Uman, Harper and Bauman have been on the front all day. They are now done. And up the road, we have 66 riders left. Tim Wellens, a former winner, is out the back. And like I said, this is really starting to explode. I am going to use Vingegaard and Kreuzweig as well. Maybe at 72 on the front, we are coming close to the top of this climb right now. Julian Alaphilippe, the new world champion, is out the back and he will not be competing. Thibaut Pino is out the back. I cannot believe how much this race has exploded already, but I'm loving it. All right, and this is where we need to be aware because we are seeing the first real attacks of the race. It's Alex Vlasov trying to open things up. We still have riders here though to work, so maybe not the most sensible move by him. Look at how good Roglic looks. Okay, Vingegaard is done. He won't be winning this race. George Bennett pulling his final turn in Jumbo Visma colours is Mike Woods on the lookout trying to attack. Yes, he is. And you know we are following with Primoz Roglic. Pogaccia follows. Almeida follows as well. Let's try and press this over the top right now. We have so much energy. And if we can get a gap right here, let's put in another little zig over the top with Roglic. And only Poggy can follow. But Roglic... <laughs> Look at it. Look at it, guys. Roglic punctures. Luckily, we have Bennett in the group. Oh, my word. The luck is unreal. 26, luckily at the front, that gap has been closed, but that was unreal. Trek in crisis here. Molima and Nibali are out the back, and just 26 riders descend this climb. Kosnafra over the climb so far. That is interesting. Evnepool, uh, we're still waiting for the first Remco attack. So Vingegaard did get back on, 31 riders are here and the Paso de Ganda is about to commence. Vingegaard, Bennett still here to support Roglic, we almost went clear, that puncture uh, put pay to that. Let's make this super difficult early because like I said, Roglic looks incredible. 
So we're stretching things out and Puggy is a little further back in the group. We do have that little section of over 10% and I do think that is where I will try to attack. But Herman's riding aggressively for Israel. They must be feeling good for Dan Martin maybe on his final race. And here we go. There it is. Dan Martin is trying to attack. Herman's hasn't seen it yet because he's uh, still relaying on the front. We're losing our position a little bit here with uh, George Bennett. Let's go up to 90 with Rog. Maybe Bennett can still protect us briefly. And this is that super steep section. Bennett trying to put us to the front. There is Puggy. We're blocked in. We can't quite follow Tade Pogaccia with Primoz on that steeper section. He is going clear. Let's try and maybe grind our way up slowly. So we still have Toons here. Evnapool, Senko as well. Working very, very hard. Evnapool is here. Puggy still up the roads and I think we're just going to work our way up with these guys potentially put in a dig shortly. And Remco is done. Remco looks done. We have Woods in our wheel. He can follow as we attack up to Tade Pagacha. We have Woods, Roglic and Pagacha at the front of the race and we are riding away right now. Oh, and Woods is done. Woods is completely done. Let's try and kick it over the top here with Tade Pagacha. Really working hard, are we, with our countrymen. We have 20 seconds on Landa, Aran and Joao Almeida. You can see the rest of the guys are dropped. What a sight this is. The two Slovenians are clear. We're trying to follow Tade. Struggling to do that a little bit, to be honest. But Ran is trying to descend up to us with Blanda and Almeida on his wheel. Surely Woods and Vlasov aren't going to make that up in this descent. But Ran, Landa and Almeida are trying to get back on. And they may well do so, you know. Is Poggy trying to attack? Poggy is trying to attack Primoz Roglic. Oh my word. I was willing to work with him to the line, potentially. He is trying to attack us. Boy, oh boy, is he just trying to keep these guys behind? I'm not sure. Anyway, we have a 30 second lead, 12k to go in this valley before the final little hill. And we really don't need to panic. Almeida, Aran and Landa, they're not coming back right now. This is going to be a Slovenian winner of Il Lombardia. Will it be Rog? Or will it be Pog? So here we go. The final little hill is about to take place. And we are going to put in a dig into the foot of the climb. Can Poggy follow? He's going to try, of course. He has to follow. Look at this. This is a trademark Roglic attack. But Poggy stays. And Poggy is dropped. Tade Pogaccia is dropped. And guys, I think we are going to win Il Lombardia with Primoz Roglic. Oh, we've done it. We've dropped Tade. He attacked too much in that valley. And I think... This is the winning move, surely. Primo's at the front of the race. Tade cannot follow. Roglic riding clear. It's going to be Primo's Roglic winning Il Lombardia this year. What a beautiful race. We played it perfectly. And Primo's can celebrate as he crosses the line here in Italy to win the second monument of his career. Behind, Pogaccia does hold on for second. Almeida sprints to third place. Pretty predictable podium in this one, to be honest. That was a super fun race, going clear with Pog, dropping him in Bergamo and winning Il Lombardia with Primoz Roglic. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like down below if you did. Drop a sub on the channel as well if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next one.